Welcome to Electra Online. Now let's explore the efficiency of an auto engine. So here we have the same drawing as we had on the previous video, the same PV drawing, where an auto process is two adiabatic, pro or an auto cycle, I should say, is two adiabatic processes and two isovolumetric processes. Now, of course, the work done by the two isovolumetric processes is zero, so the only work done in an auto cycle is the two adiabatic processes we have work done by the gas and then work done on the gas as we go back. And I probably should draw little arrows to indicate that we're going in a clockwise direction in this cycle. So now we have the work done by each of the two adiabatic processes, which is nR over 1 minus gamma times the difference in the final minus the initial temperature. And so we have that for the two processes. So the total work done is the sum of the two, which ends up being nR 1 minus gamma over 1 minus gamma times T2 plus T4, which are the positive temperatures, minus T1 minus T3, which are the two temperatures we're subtracting. And then we can simplify that by coming back over here, realizing that gamma is Cp over Cv. And so R can be written as Cp minus Cv, and 1 minus gamma can be written as 1 minus Cp over Cv. Algebraically, this simplifies to simply minus C sub V, so we can replace R divided by 1 minus gamma by C sub V or minus C sub V. So that becomes a simplified form of the work done by the cycle, by the auto cycle. All right. So now we have the work done divided by the heat added during the hot process. So right here we're adding heat from 2 to 3. Since that is an isovolumetric process, the heat added will be N C sub V times the difference in the temperature. Now notice that we have an n c sub v in the numerator, n c sub v in the denominator. We're going to get rid of this negative sign by flipping the order of the bottom one here. So we have t2 minus t3 to get rid of the negative. There's a reason why we did that. Because what we're going to do next is we're going to simplify this to this. And I said, well, how can we do that? Hmm. Well, coming back over here, let's see here. Okay, CCV, that cleanses out. We have, oh yes, okay, there we go. So, <laughs> I see what I did now. So first we got rid of the N's and the C's of V. So let me just show that, so this cancels out. Now we divide T2 minus T3 into this, and we divide into this. So divide this into this, we get one, plus divide this into this, we get T4 minus T1 over T2 minus T3. For a moment there, I forgot what I did. All right, there we go. So. Now, how do we simplify that? So this here in the numerator, we're going to make this a negative and switch order, T1 minus T4. In the denominator, we're going to come back over here since we have an adiabatic process from 1 to 2 and 3 to 4. We can say here that Tv1 to the gamma minus 1 must be T2V2 to the gamma minus 1, and the same for the other process. Solving this for T2 and solving this for T3, we have these two values here that can then be substituted for T2 and T3, and it becomes this. So just simply grabbing these two and plugging them over there. There's a reason for that because we see T1 minus T4 and a T1 minus T4 there, but what about these two things? Well, notice in the isovolumetric process, V3 and V2 are equal. So V2 and V3 are equal, and so are V1 and V4. Again, that's an isovolumetric process, so those are equal. So this fraction is the same as that fraction, so we could write this as v1 over v2 to the gamma minus 1 and factor it out, which is exactly what we did here. And this, of course, now becomes equal to 1, and we end up at 1 minus 1 over v1 over v2 to the gamma minus 1. But if we now reverse, reverse the order, take that into a negative, that becomes 1 minus gamma, and we can flip this over as v2 over v1. And notice v2 over v1 is the compression ratio where we compress the volume at 1 to the volume at 2. So therefore, V2 over V1 is the compression ratio. Well, actually, it's the inverse of the compression ratio. So we have to flip it over, and then we have it as, let's see here. Let me go back. Oh, yes, no, no, I made a mistake. Made a mistake. This stays the same ratio. This should be V1 over V2. Why do I say that? Because by changing the sign of the exponent, I simply bring it to the numerator, I write as 1 minus gamma, but the order must be the, say the same. So there was my mistake. 
So now they have V1 over V2. That is indeed the compression ratio. V1 is bigger than V2. That's the compression ratio, which is R. And therefore, this now becomes the efficiency of the auto cycle written in the simple format like this. Made a mistake there, but I caught it. There it is, and that is the efficiency.